In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our new Interbase to go. That's Interbase server in a DLL for Windows 32 and Windows 64, and Interbase to go in a Dilib for Macintosh OS 10. So we'll create a new C++ builder desktop application. Over here in the Data Explorer, as you've seen before, we've got our different database drivers, and one of those is uh, Interbase to go. And I've created a connection string here called my Interbase to go. We can go and look at it. I just have a path to my Interbase example uh, GDB file. Go make sure it's it's okay that it's there. My username and password. There's advanced properties that you can look at. It's the Interbase to go driver name. Uh, it gives me the name of the driver file. And here's the Interbase to go vendor lib DLL and the vendor lib OS 10 lib IB to go dilib and for 64 bit IB to go 64 DLL. And these can be found uh, in your users, public, public documents, Interbase, uh, redistribute Interbase XE3. We've got our redistributable Interbase DLLs for regular Interbase for 32 bit, 64 bit, and OS 10. We also have the to go DLLs, which has the DLL and any license files and configuration files that we need to deploy as part of our application. You get all of this when you install XE3. So let's build a simple application. We'll put a SQL connection down, and I'm going to use that connection string called my IB to go. And then I'm going to right mouse click and bring up the live bindings wizard, and I'm going to link a grid with a data source. Let's just choose a grid. Uh, we want to bind source DBX. Uh, my interbase to go it's asking me to log in and then now i have my driver my connection string i can choose to use command type table or query we've seen this before let's use a query select star from customer test the command it's okay we want a navigator and now we've got our navigator at the top we've got a bind source dbx and we've got our grid for our customer information. Let's prune this navigator button so we just want to be able to view and navigate through. So we're not going to do any updates. We're not going to do any posts, edits, deletes, or inserts. Let's save all of this. And I want to make this a master detail showing me customers and also the sales that each customer has. So we're going to go back into the live binding wizard and add another grid just showing the orders for each customer. So we'll say new grid and new source, use that same interbase to go connection. So we'll make it a query and we'll put in a parameterized query. We'll say select star from sales where the customer number for the sale is equal to some parameterized customer number that's gonna be coming from the sales table. We'll make sure it's okay. We'll add a data source navigator and be done. Clean up our user interface. We'll make this navigator, again, a simple browsing navigator. Get rid of any of the editing buttons. So cancel, post, edit, delete, and insert. Now to make the relationship between the selected customer and the orders for that customer, we need to make a connection between the bind source for the sales and the bind source from the customer. We do that over in the object inspector. We can go and say that the master source is DB1. So coming from the customer table, we're going to take the master field going to be cust no, and the index name field is also going to be cust no, the index inside of our order. And let's go and uh, so we activate it, and now we get the orders just for customer 1001. Let's save it out. Now we can go in and test this application. It's working at design time. If I try to run this application, it says product interbase is not licensed because it can't find the interbase to go DLL. So I need to go over to the directory where it is. Users, public, public documents, interbase, redist, win32, take this folder and this DLL and copy it to my where my application is, in this case, the debug version, paste it over. And while it's active in the ID, because the ID knows about Interbase, it says that my Interbase to go is not licensed because I haven't gotten the deployment license file to do my testing and development. And when you receive your Rad Studio XE3 key, you also get a key for your Interbase to go to do your deployment testing. And it tells you to go and register that key so that you can get the activation information. So I'll key in my serial number and my registration code 
get that file and deploy it with the DLL. And after I key in the, the key in the registration code, it'll ask for my login information that I used for product registration so it can send me an email with the information. And after I registered it, it sends me a registration file or I can choose to download it to the license manager and I can add that license file so that I'm a registered interface to go developer and deployment testing customer. So I'll choose license import, navigate to where I put my license file. And now it says I have a product license for Interbase XE3 to go test deployment. And I can go back to continuing to do my development and testing. So once I've, I've registered my Interbase to go test deployment license, I can go and take it from where it was saved. And I'm going to copy it to where my application is. Right now it's Win32 debug. I put the DLL and I put the Interbase folder. There's a license folder. We just paste it in the license folder. And then when I run the application, I have a master detail, Interbase to go demo. And as I move through the customers, I see the sales for each customer. I can do the same thing for 64-bit windows at a platform. Let's do a build for 64-bit. And I need to go to my users, public, public documents, Interbase, redist. There's my 64-bit to go. So let's take the folder and the DLL and put it with, with my 64-bit app. And again, now I have a 64-bit version working. And then one last thing that I've added to my application for the Macintosh and for Windows is a checkbox. And the checkbox allows me to open and close the database. So I've got uh, the SQL connection connected false and the two bind sources is active set to false. The checkbox on checkbox change, I look at what platform I'm running on using the TOS version structure. And if I'm on Windows, then I set the database parameter to be the path to where the database is. If I'm on the Macintosh, then I'm going to use the database that's in the same folder as my application. And then if the checkbox is checked, I'll open the SQL connection, open the two bind source DBXs, provide the master detail relationship. And if the checkbox isn't checked, then I'll close everything in the reverse order. So let's try this now on Macintosh. And again, let's remind ourselves uh, over here in the deployment, we've got our Lib SQL Dialib, which is going into the contents of our application. We've got our registration file. Uh, into the contents interbase license folder. We've got some other di dilibs for the interbase uh, client driver and our application, which is our interbase to go demo. So let's go and make sure everything's saved. Hit run. Here's our application. Let's enable the database. And here's our customer data and the orders data for each customer. So running on Macintosh with interbase to go, running on Windows. 32-bit and 64-bit uh, interbase to go. It's the interbase server in a DLL and part of at Rad Studio XZ3 and C++ Builder XZ3 gives you a, a test version so you can define your applications and test them in a deployment situation and then you can go and get the licenses for the ultimate deployment of your production system.